and so we must come together for his final wish. Poor girl! Poor girl! Ah. What is up, guys? And welcome back to some more Sea of Stars. We're here playing as Sarai as we're on Maelstrom uh, in order to get the pieces we need for the audience uh, for baking the bread, actually. Um, what do you have here? Nothing, nothing useful, right? All right, and we're off. We got also a new uh, skill combo for Sarai and Rashan as well. So looking forward to using it, especially if we end up coming across a bunch of enemies that have that combination of like dark and uh, dark and hammer or blunt. Yeah, dark and blunt. I don't know if I actually need to rest up or not. Drop this thing to get this show on the road. Okay, here goes nothing. This counter hit's going to be a pain in the ass. So we'll take out the tail first, just to get rid of that counter attack BS. Okay, so counterattack doesn't kick in when we hit it off the tail too, so that's actually pretty damn clutch. Like, funny enough, I think we can... Uh. Does this give us double hits of poison? Yeah. I was trying to remember if it did. I thought it did.
seven K, damn. And we got a show. Carl was right. This skill will produce magic too. Let's go back to Mirth. Time for the great harvest. Okay. I went by faster than I was expecting. And what are the shafts for? Oh, there's going to be a whole lot of wheat. But you see, if we just drop it all in there, it should get ground up on its way down and leave us with flour at the bottom. Grinding on volcanic stone. Yep, we're feeding a fire breather here. It is a big challenge. I don't know if I can do this. But I will try it for you. Thanks, Malcolm. Uh, that's all I ask. So we go now? Yeah, Valer will have cleared the volcano by the time we get there. The volcano's been opened. Now to clear the place so Garl and Malcomud can build their thing. I'm right behind you. Good to go. Okay. Ah. Let's go. Music's nice as hell. They were just moon, okay. They were just that as well. Okay, cool. It's like the worst combination of like a team. So we have to time it when we land. Yeah. So they blow themselves up, interesting. So next time I'll shield up if I have like enough MP so they can just kill themselves like that. Wipe the drop. I just want to get that chest before I end up forgetting. And it worked out because it's a stronger weapon. Okay. Why, wait, I can still control my character from up here. That was dumb. They didn't even like let you know that it was like a cuts, like a uh, interactive scene like that. It's interesting. They got something else here with us. Everything like is resistant against us. That's that sucks. Mm. That was a good move there. Didn't really want to take extra damage. As always, for us, it's like the sooner we can end the battle, the better. I don't know if this just means we have, like, an important fight coming up.
I got nothing for MP specifically. Damn. That sucks. We'll take all the all the free armor and weapons we can get actually. Damn. So I didn't even need to use those items like that. I could have could have just waited. Oh, come on. Y'all could have gave me that level up. I'll for sure level up off this thing. There we go. Gotta get our physical attack up. Yeah, I wanted something for magical attack but we'll just put our MP up more oh see you get something for magic attack that's great <laughs> He's really just waiting right there. It's just leading us out to like another fight. Yep. Yeah, I noticed that. I was like, wait, there's something there. First item used during a round won't spend the character's Yo, that is clutch. So we get to use an item at the same time and still attack. I'll for sure need to put that on someone else, I'm sure.
I want something for just like the MP, but that's too low. It's like not worth it. Might as well make these. It's 35 and five MPs at least. That way, like if I use it in battle, I get health at the same time. Is this dude gonna also have like items for us to buy though? Is that like his thing? Carl was just at our outpost that mentioned you'd be coming. I came after grabbing what I could. Do you need anything? Nope. And nothing for me to sell. This is our target. Yes. It will be vulnerable to your lunar magic. Good. See how much this does. One sixty two, not bad. Yeah, I'm not concerned about these dudes blowing up on me. They don't do that much damage. And I got like a decent heal too with Vashan. What? <laughs> I feel like I want to save that combo.
Wait, that didn't get rid of two of them? It's actually kind of cool knowing that he hits his like own allies and whatnot. I honestly don't even want to use that. They really frying me. We'll use the ultimate on this next turn. Or actually, should I power? I think I want to power it up, actually. Oh, didn't. We should have just did the, the freaking ultimate skill. Eighty-four hundred. Thanks for the help, Rashawn. Naturally. Now to wait for the others. So now we just need to do Garl's part, or is he just gonna do it in like a cutscene for us, maybe? Yeah, the magic dew will make it like instantly grow, right? I feel like this isn't enough though. Like what? I feel like it's only gonna make like a tiny amount of stuff. Great job everyone. Let their hold be full to the brim. A valiant effort. Time to set sail. All aboard. Wait for me. Okay, Teeks. Like, as if you're going to be doing something. Oh, wait, you just want to write it down for your books, I think, right? Hill Mountain, because now it has a name. Totally. And the face on Zale, too. <laughs> Carl, do you think... Zale! So you got Zephyr right here. How about Malcolm? He's still working on it. We'll need time anyway. Lots of crops in the Vespertine. 
Right, let's all go and... <laughs> Carl. I'm okay, Valer. Just need a moment here. You take it easy, okay? We'll carry the crops. But... You're right. That's probably best. I'll take care of it. You spent some time with your friend. Huh, that's nice of her. I... Thank you, Sarai. Yeah, I was gonna say, why don't you just use a portal to get everything? Huh, that's one way to. <laughs> take it easy, girl. Wow, this really hurts. I hope I'll be able to... We're with you no matter what. We didn't come this far for nothing. I'll see this through. I think I have finished. Yeah, are you happy with the results? Why do you ask? I did for you. Well, are you happy you did it for me? Yes, but I hope you like. I'm sure he will, Malcolm. I I remember you. You can look too. Or he's like, I remember you. You look awfully familiar. Yes. Yes, yes. So the crops go up there. Chuck them in. Flour fills up here for mixing. After a little kneading, bring it up there. Need some more? Let it sit with the heat and... Good job, Malcolm. It is perfect. I only follow your plan. Guys, this is going to be huge. Can we help? Of course. Malcolm, uh, time for the heat. Perfection. Now we let it bake. It comes and goes. Like, right now I feel just fine. Let's just share more memories, okay? That's all I want. Oh, I know. Remember when I brought you cookies while you were at the academy? Yeah, you never told us how you managed to <laughs> make that flying platform move. With a monocle. Huh? Was it a magic monocle? Oh no, I used it to focus sunlight directly onto the room. It made sense, so I just went for it and it worked. The beam wasn't very strong, though. That must have taken hours. Sure did. Eight, in fact. <laughs> no way. Yep. Well, eight hours of sunlight, to be exact. That's excluding the night I spent halfway up in the air. How did you not get caught? Oh, I got caught, but I was already out of reach by the time Gran saw me. I wish I could have seen her face. Believe me. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Up and there's our bread. Bleh. And then? <laughs> Carl! I'm... I think my time's almost up. Don't say that. I have to. I have to finish this. Blair, please tell Malcolm uh, to cut the lava flow. Zale, I need Zephyr now. 
here. I hope this works. And so, the winds of Zephyr carried the scent of the bread all the way to the sleeping beast. Who would have known Carl would have been so important to saving the world? At a cost of his life, though. Thank you, curious one, for this unprecedented act of goodness and generosity. Through your creation, the elements have soothed my long-tormented soul. Hey, any time. It's just bread, really. This marks a new beginning for me. If it is not too much to ask, would you be willing to give me a new name? I... Sure. I still have a bit of time. I can do this. What you gonna name him? Okay. So what are your ambitions? My past was one of anger and destruction, but you have shown me the way to a higher purpose. I wish to honor your memory by being coming a devoted caterer. Get it? Because he's a warrior cook. Now he has a caterer. Oh, that's so nice of you to say. So a butler, huh? How about Sinclair? Nah, hold on. Oh, I know. For this new life, I shall name you Wentworth. Wentworth. Once again, I thank you. Ever have I encountered such a caring soul. Here we I understand your time is almost up. Is there anything I can do to repay your kindness? There is one thing, yes. You want to ride on his back? Yep, for my final journey, I'd like to fly on your back with my friends. It would be my honor and privilege. Then please take us to Moon Cradle. I want to be buried under the Celestial Willow. Garl! Oh man. We're gonna lose Garl. I don't know what it is, but it's like Garl knowing that like it's his last day. He's acted extremely mature. It's thrown me off so much, but I like it. Hey, so we got to fly for a second time. That's pretty neat, huh? You should save your energy, Garl. I'm okay. It doesn't hurt anymore. I'm just really sleepy. We'll be with you until the end. I know. I'm so lucky. Hey, promise me one thing. Anything. I want you to use this gift. You'll travel across the sea of stars, whatever that is. We'll do it for you. I mean, someone has to kick Arlena's butt and teach the Fleshmancers a lesson. Might as well be you, right? We'll go and do that. Don't worry. We're going to kick some ass, Carl. All the asses. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and you'll keep cooking too, right? Use what I taught you? Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> every day? Every day, bro? I don't know about every day. We'll miss you so much. Blair, Zale, I can't thank you enough for everything. All those moments together, all the adventures, I couldn't have asked for better friends. I... Oh man, that's how he, he didn't even get to finish what he was saying.
Damn. R.I.P. Garl. Oh man, they actually have like little artwork for the funeral. And Moraine even speaking. <laughs> we are gathered here today to honor Garl, the warrior cook. Born in Moon Cradle, he chose a life of adventure and accomplished many deeds. From fighting alongside Solstice Warriors, to founding the peaceful town of Mirth, and he even managed to soothe the sleeper. Yeah, you surely showed him in the end, son. Good work. Like a true pirate chef. This adventure won't be the same without you, pal. May he be remembered for his warm heart, his bravery, and his unrelenting smile. May he be remembered! Carl, you really were the best of us. I miss you so much already. The world will hear the stories of your deeds for generations to come. This is my vow. Thank you for teaching me, Master Garl. I am glad you liked the kiln. Oh man. It actually is like bittersweet seeing us actually have to, you know, say goodbye to Garl. It has been a couple of weeks already. Are we leaving anytime soon, Captain? We are giving Valer and Zale as much time as they need. I must hurt something awful. Their bond was a special one. Sure would hurt something fierce to lose one of our own. But you're right, Valtrade. Their friendship was something else. So, Captain, any ideas for our next adventure? Yes, the time has come. Captain? Oh, <laughs> how exciting. Hmm. So they're doing all this training too while meditating and trying to, you know, heal from the hurt. Ooh, what does she notice? Still can't believe you spent all that time on the platform with just a monocle and a cookie jar. He sure was a loyal friend. The best. Valer, I think I'm ready. I've been thinking about Erlina. No matter what kind of fleshmancer monster she's become, we have to defeat her wherever she is. True that. Carl sure held up his end of the bargain. The Sky Giants Council will let us through, I suppose. Across the Sea of Stars, whatever that means. For Garl, then? For Garl. For Garl! Garl! With innocence lost and the purpose reaffirmed, the powers of Luana and Solon start to awaken within Valerian Sail. We finally got these ultimate attacks for us about goddamn time. So we've learned Solon's light, salvation. Valer has learned the ultimate attack, Luana's might, retribution. Salvation and retribution. So. Y'all ready to avenge your friend? We are.
I want to fast travel, honestly. To like the rainbow conch stuff. But I guess I can't do that now. Uh, guys, I'm actually ending the video off right here. I'm getting ahead of myself. Not thinking about how long this video actually is because the story's getting really good. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video. Helps with the video a lot. And also subscribe to my channel, you know, for Garl. Subscribe for Garl, guys. But with that said, stay sharp. Later.